Just, just the time, okay. I forgot to turn my smartphone on, but it's about f I got four o'clock in the old. Drops back to pass. Nice, airs it out, it's got a man Wide in open. the bread basket in the end zone. And South Delta opens up the scoring, six nothing. And that was number 81 on that catch, Benjamin Holmes. Well, they're, they're out there discussing who is supposed to be covering him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of tough if you're the secondary. So I, I figured out what's happening here. I thought they were lining up for the extra point wrong, but because if they want to kick it, they they, they kick from the five yard line, um, and the up where the uprights are, they actually line up on the goal line and then use that five yards. And he's in trouble. Oh, oh, oh no. no! And he's gone. Yeah, he's <laughs> gone. That is a tr uh, ram touchdown. Oh. They had such great momentum going. Yeah. And in a blink of an eye, boom. And it, it, just as he was getting hit, the ball squeaked out of his hands. And, and uh, yeah, he's right Kenny there. Scott was standing right there yeah. waiting for it. The top player so far. Yeah. One of the two top players so far for the Rams. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Well, the Chargers had momentum. I mean, they're, they're showing they're a good football team. Like, no, no doubt about it. But they just ran into, he ran into huge problems there. And that O-line has to be solid. Yeah, got to hold on to it. 96, Aiden Niche was the one that made that that whole play happen. He was from the shotgun, one man back. There's a handoff. Does he have room up the middle? He's got some blocking. He's got a gap. Did oh, they, they rip the, the ball, ball out? They on, just took the ball away from and him. And he's gone. He's got one man to beat. Can he beat him? Nope. <laughs> That's well, yes, incredible. Yes, he can. <laughs> and it's Kenny Scott one more time. I mean, he's just having a heck of a game here. He threw for the opening touchdown. Got a fumble recovery for a touchdown. Just got a strip touchdown. Uh, he, like he's just having a phenomenal game out there. Langley or uh, South, South Delta. Delta. Why am I saying South Delta? Just on fire, on fire. Well, he didn't have that ball tucked in. And, we, and I've said this before. He hit contact. He, he tried to get his second hand over there. He just wasn't fast enough with it. And Scott recognized that. And it's smart, smart play. To come in instead of making the tackle, he just grabs the ball and pulls it away from him because he saw that he didn't have it fully secured. I tell you, as soon as you start getting anywhere, and it's kind of exciting watching teams when you don't know anything about them. It's just nothing but surprises. There's a handoff. Big 63 going to the outside. Does a dipsy doodle. Cuts in. He's blowing past all the defenders. And I think that he is in the end zone, Matt Macri. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's opening drive. Dylan Wilson. And just comes rumbling through there. Uh, it comes back across the defense. And, and nobody can seem to get a hand on him. Uh, he did a great job there. They get the handoff, and he goes off tackle, heads upfield, sees a defender, and cuts back. Big kid. Holy and then moly. just runs across everybody here, pushes one guy off of him. Second guy didn't want to really commit to that tackle. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Cowich in with the ball. You can see the end zone. And there's the pitch. He's got some blocking. He has some speed. Look at this. Cuts in, just blows guys over. Doesn't even need the block. He just just plowed right over. Look at that. The size difference between this Couchin team and this Vanderhoof team is the difference here. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're not even able to slow them down at all. They're just running right over top of them. And that's why you got to tackle low. Yeah. Right? When you're outsized like this, get low and just take his feet from underneath them. Yeah. Let's see what he tries to do. Well, he gets blocked. That's pretty tough, but. Yeah, and then here. Get down. Yeah, you try to put a shoulder into him. And I mean, yeah. you're, you're going to lose that battle 100 yeah. times. Just. Sacrifice the body right into his legs. And I was pretty impressed. Number four is the quarterback here, Nico Harris, and he comes out as the block. And instead of laying out the guy who's half his size, he just kind of puts his arm in front of him. Now they got the paint, so. Yeah. I think it's going to be quarterback, quarterback keeper. keeper. Going to the outside. He's got one man to beat. He's got some very good blocking. Look at this. That's how you, that's how you block. That's how you block. And they're trying to shove him out of bounds. And he's in the end zone. Number four, Nico Harris. And there's a flag back behind it, because I'm not sure I'm not sure what happened there, but we got two Vanderhoof players on the ground and a flag behind the play. So let's see if we can catch it on the replay. Nico Harris, great job here. Get behind your blockers. Blockers do their job in blocking and just keep moving it upfield here. And look how patient number 82 was there. Shoved a guy out of the way, stopped and waited. Maybe stepped out of bounds. Yeah. I didn't see a penalty there, so I'm not 100% no. not sure what it the call is. It must have been a now. hold. Yeah. Here 
the snap under center. He's dropping back for a pass, undoubtedly going for the end zone. Picked up big 63, gets some blocking. Look at this, knocks him just right over. And it's only a matter of time before he gets in the end zone. And there he goes. And I, you know, the size difference here, um, it, it looks like the Vanderhoof players are almost scared to make a tackle. Yeah. They don't want to go down low. They don't want to get run over. Yeah. And even the ones that are getting hit there are, are, are slow to get up. Yeah. So, um, That's you know, tough, man. Yeah. And, and when, look at the, he gets the blocking here. Yep. And then watch this play. Drops the shoulder. And Boom. just drives through him. But he goes too high, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you see, you know, the 30 there was going to go for the legs and then just decided against it, you know? Uh, I mean, do believe they'll start the second half with the ball as well. Kenny Scott dropped back for the pass. Airs it out. Wide open receiver, number 47. Ouch, Lechner for the touchdown, South Delta Rams. Great catch, great throw by Kenny Scott. So now we got the South Delta Rams are up 6 0 in, in the dying seconds of the first half of this round robin game. And here we go. Kenny Scott drops back and just fires a rocket. And Lechner got behind everybody there. Uh, I didn't. He was wide open, and uh, you can see Nico Harris turns to his uh, his teammate there, and weren't you supposed to have him? I thought you had him. Yeah. It Kenny Scott gets the ball, keeps it the whole time. The, I think the whole plan was him keeping this ball. He runs so well with the ball, and he gets out to the outside. He's taken off down the sidelines before. He's finally shoved out of bounds at about the five-yard line. Number 48, Mason Martindale tackling him and saving that touchdown but it puts him in really good field position on about the four-yard line. Oh, no, it's going to be even closer than that. I thought it, I thought it was further back. They're going to be on about the two-yard line here. Kenny Scott just so strong on his feet, fights his way forward, and even as he slides out of bounds, maybe about the, yep, about the two-yard line, they're going, to come, they're going to come away with the ball. The first in goal, we have three shots here from the two. Right away. Kenny Scott just takes the snap and runs right into the end zone for the touchdown. A little stumble, a little roll, and a score. South Delta up 14-0 with about three minutes left in the game. And he seemed to have everything well under control. There's a snap from under center, handed off. A little tick, tuck it inside and then turn and get outside by number 21, Riley McEwen. Finally, pay dirt for the Chargers. First score of the day for the Chargers, number 21, Riley McEwen. Great job. Couple of plays, great defensive plays to move the ball backwards against Vanderhoof, and then a couple of offensive plays put him in the end zone. And fabulous job by number 15, Cohen Boyd here. He's handing the ball off, and Riley McEwen's doing the rest. So there's the kick is good. It'll be an eight nothing lead for the Chargers. Number 15, Cohen Boyd out of the shotgun. Singles back. And a little double reverse going on here. And Verney ended up with the ball. Number 26, he's got good blocking out in front of him. Turning it up the field. Fights his way through and into the end zone for the touchdown Chargers. And that's going to kill off the half here. They'll get the extra point convert, um, the attempt for the convert anyways. And that'll probably be the end of the first half, and they'll go into the second half up two scores to nothing. And a great little reverse going on here. Uh, I like I like the way they do that. So we got number 28, Stockburger, coming across, and he just flips it to Verne. Everybody, everybody in the defense coming to the left, but they're running to the right, and they got a block, two blockers out in front, the quarterback and the running back, both getting out in front for blocking. And give Verne pretty much the red carpet treatment right into the end zone. Number 80, uh, Brendan Baker from Vanderhoof was fighting to try and get a hold of that. So the two points is good. There is a. F Big kick. Big kick by Turgeon. Bounces out there to the seven arm player. Picks up great run back so far. Gets past. Oh, and he's gone. He's taken off through the defense. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Number 28, Owen Stockberger there. Fields the ball on the fly. Picks it up and just runs straight forward and blows past the defense. 
to put another six points on the board for the Shushwap Chargers. A great kick by Grayson Turgeon here. Gets all of it on it that he wanted. He just there was just no tack, tackling on the return. Do the shootout or whatever. There we go. Turgeon with his massive boot. Kicks the ball deep. Stockberger picks it up on the bounce and just gets ahead of steam, runs through the first guy and just keeps on going. No one really got a hand on him except for that first guy that he ran over. And off he goes to the end zone. Number 44, Cade Leibert, I mean, a valiant effort there. So it looks like the, the extra back, two out to the right, one out to the left. There's the snap, he drops back, throws to number 80, Riley McEwen. Or no, number 80 is Jaden Brennan, who's able to pressure, push himself in for another touchdown. Big stiff arm and into the end zone for a touchdown. Uh, Brennan, uh, Jaden Brennan has had a phenomenal game here. The second score of the game, a couple big plays. He's done a really good job. So strong on his feet. And Salmon Arm will get set to kick one more time, or to kick the extra point here one more time. One of the things I notice is that Salmon Arm, once they do score, have been great with that, uh, getting that kickoff for the two point convert. They're three for three here. They're going for their few yards. Second and eight. Kenny Scott says the receiver's in motion, stops back, drops back, lines up, gets the ball up in the air. And it looks like the Rams have scored a touchdown. Number 47, Alex Lechner with the catch in the end zone for the score. So now this is going to be huge here. Because uh, we, we saw earlier that they're having a bit of trouble with their extra points. So here we go. Scott gets that ball, airs it out. Lechner wide open, got behind the defender, and, uh, and makes a great catch. So they, had, they had trouble earlier in the uh, round robin with their extra points. So this is going to be a huge kick here because if they miss this, the Chargers come here, and he just gives the quarterbacks absolutely zero time to do anything. Oh, huge job. Oh, so that's the game. Uh, as uh, they did the jet sweep, and as he was being tackled, the running back tried to pitch it forward, and uh, they kind of calling that a fumble. South Delta Rams gets the ball, and that's the end for the Chargers. They come in second. Great job by the South Delta Rams. This this squad has had a phenomenal day. Uh, they played well. Um, good on them. Congrats. There we go. So that's it for Matt Macri from VBN Sports Com. He's trying to just hand, you see on the replay there, he just tries to get it to the guy in front of him, but it doesn't go quite far enough. He should have just taken the tackle and, and tried on his next two downs. But there we go, South Delta Rams, great job. Um, you are provincial champions for the nine-man JB division. All the other teams, Vanderhoof Vikings, way to stay in and fight, Couch and Bulldogs, you guys were phenomenal. And Salmon Arm Chargers, you guys were great. Enjoyed watching you guys. Thanks for the entertainment. Thanks for the day, folks. We will be back here tomorrow, 10 a.m., for Bantam Nine-Man Provincial Action, followed up at 1 p.m. for the Midget Action. You have a good night. We'll see you all tomorrow. will be presenting medals out to all the teams here and they will be receiving their medals for a great performance and again thank you very much for coming out to support these fine young men we hope to see you back next year for the 2019 championship <laughs>